The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to create an asset in MindSphere. Asset creation and management is done within the Asset Manager application of MindSphere. Within Asset Manager, there are three sections. Assets, where we can view our previously created assets. Types, which are templates used to create identical assets and aspects, which are groups of variables used to represent our data. For sake of example, let's say that we want to add a VBHB to our MindSphere account, but we don't currently have an asset uh, type configured for Triumph Bender. We'll need to start at the beginning by determining what variables we want to monitor, which is done under Aspects. To create an aspect, click on the plus sign. Now we need to consider what aspects we want to create and monitor on our Triumph Bender. Uh, one good place to start would be servo motors. The Triumph Bender has multiple servo motors, and monitoring their temperature, etc., may be useful. Choosing a generic name for your aspect would be wise, as aspects can be reused more than once within a single type. This allows you to create a single aspect, for example, servo motor and use this one aspect for each of the different servos on the Triumph Bender. Now we need to add a variable. Here we'll choose a variable name. Uh, for example, let's say we want to monitor temperature on the servo motors. The data type for this would be an integer and the unit for this would be degrees Fahrenheit. We'll add another variable and call it torque. This also will be a data type integer because it's a numerical representation. And the units for that would be in Newtons. Let's add one more variable, and we'll call that velocity. We will represent this with an integer as well, and this will be measured in millimeters per second. Now we can save our aspect. Now that we have an aspect created, we can create our type and add our aspect to it. We'll create a new type, and we will call it Triumph Bender. Here, you can select the aspects you want to assign to this type. Here is our servo motor as aspect that we just created. And here we can assign a name. For example, I'll call this one feed servo with an underscore. Add aspect. Now we can add another aspect. Uh, let's add another servo motor. Let's add the cut pull servo. And why don't we add a free leg clamp servo as well. There. Now we have three servos that we can monitor using this Triumph Bender type. Let's save the type. So here is our Triumph Bender type that we just created with our three unique aspects that were based off of the same aspect. Now that our type has been created, we can use it to create an asset. To do that, go over to Assets, Create New. Now here, we can see all of the types that are available to us. Uh, some of these are just MindSphere system types. Uh, this is if you're adding a new MindConnect Nano. Uh, here are some FinPress types I previously created, and here is the Triumph Bender type that we just now created. So we'll select that one, give it a name, we'll call it vbhb-sds-mm8-123. 
You can also give it a description as well as a location, including GPS coordinates, so that you can view it on a map with view within MindSphere. We'll skip that for now. We'll click on Save. And now, under Assets, our VBHP has been added. So now we have our VBHP asset available to us in MindSphere. A useful feature that MindSphere offers is the ability to create derived types, or a type derived from another. For example, the standard Triumph Bender does not have conveyors, but a conveyor option is available. A Triumph Bender with conveyors type could be a separate type that is derived from the Triumph Bender type. To create a derived type, go to Types, and then select the type from which you wish to create a derived type and then select Derive Type. And here you will give it a new name. We'll call this one Triumph Bender Conveyors. As Conveyors. All right, now here we can select another asset or another aspect to assign to our Derive Type. Um, let's just put another motor on here. We'll call this Conveyor motor. It's not actually a servo motor, but that'll work for now. Click on Add Aspect. There it is. Click on Save. And here it is. We have our Triumph Bender Conveyors type with the three original aspects plus the additional conveyor motor aspe aspect that we just added. Now, if we go back to our Types menu, you'll see that there's a, an arrow on Triumph Bender. You click on that, and then you're able to see the derived types of Triumph Bender.